This is a short movie just showing you how you can align images or image sequences. Um, here I've got two uh, identical images. This one has just been rotated by 15 degrees. Um, what I'm going to do is just align them so I get a, a, a single movie file which has got both images that overlap on top of each other. To do that, I just go Process, Align Images, and I just two, pick the two images and bring them across to the side here. And then I say, OK, I want to do a Fourier correlation. And because my problem here is rotation, I'm just going to select rotation. I can select the others as well, but we don't have any problems with scaling on translation in these images. And I just press Apply. Now I've got an image where I've got two images that overlap on top of each other. Now, in a case of something like a dual cam or a two camera system, I could take two images of a grid, create an alignment um, protocol, then take a series of images on each one and then align both images using that previously created align protocol because I can load and save alignment. Okay, so that was rotation. Let's have a look at uh, an example of different sizes. Maybe we have different magnifications in use. Here I've got two images and this one is the full size image and this is a reduced image size. Both images are the actual same dimensions but what we're looking at is smaller. So in this time, I'm going to say, let's look at Demi Green and Demi Green Duplicated. And I'm going to correct for scaling this time. Okay. So I've got a slight issue. I'm just going to put in rotation. I'm actually going to bring down uh, the size of my Fourier band that I'm going to do my stitching in. So I still got a problem. Let's increase it. See what increasing it does. Ah, this is the actual problem here. We actually have translational issues because I don't have rotation. I've got translational issues as well because the image isn't exactly in the center. So let me just do that. Okay, so it's pretty much on top of each other there now. So that would create for that. Okay. And finally we can correct for what is a translational issue, which is a little bit of what we had previously. So I'll just add spots across. And in this case we've got a translational issue because the images are actually not directly on top of each other. This one has been shifted right. You can see there's a much bigger gap between there and there. So I just press apply, and you can see it's created and corrected for the uh, the translational issue. Well, I hope that's helped. If you need any more help, please contact your local dealer or sales office. Thanks.